Hey, how's it going? I'm Jacob, and today I'm going to talk about Acoustic Attack's current lineup of picks, and those are Attack, Ambush, and Blade. Now, right away, you can tell there's something funny going on with these picks. There are a series of raised formations and ridges along the tips that are supposed to enhance frequencies between 1 and 5k, right in the mid-range, and add increased percussiveness and attack to the sound. All of these do the same thing, but in different levels and in different ways. I'm going to test them out and figure out how it works, and I'm going to use this 1.14 millimeter flat to pick as a reference. All right. Right, so first I'm going to use a flat tip pick to get a feel for the instrument. When I'm playing acoustic, generally the first pick I reach for is Attack. Attack has nine raised formations in the shape of pyramids sloping at a downward angle, and I think sometimes it can give off the sound of a 12 string. You can hear that it brightens it up so much that it almost sounds like a different instrument. I'm gonna go back to the flat tip. And now to attack. I like this best for open first position chords. Um, that's how it really shines. It just spits them out so brightly. Next we have Ambush. Ambush is similar to Attack in its raised formations, only there are fewer of them, and the formations themselves are in a square shape rather than a pyramid shape. Give it a try. <laughs> It has the same brightening effect that attack does, but it has a little more impact. I believe that that's due to the fact that they're at a shallower angle, the uh, formations themselves, and that provides more impact, therefore a more percussive sound. Next to a flat pick. Ambush again. <laughs> Lastly, we have Blade. Now, Blade, instead of having the individual structures that Attack and Ambush had, this has ridges. They are two millimeters thick, whereas the grip itself is one millimeter thick. Let's see how this one sounds. flat tip. It's definitely the least aggressive of the three, but where it really makes a difference is in the picking itself. It's got so much pop. Flat tip. I really like Blade on electric. Blade is what I use the most on electric. It's definitely the most versatile of all three, and I'm gonna use the flat tip as a reference. And now Blade. It 
sounds highly compressed. It sounds and feels like I'm plucking the string rather than just picking it. Uh, this is because, as I mentioned before, it has a one millimeter grip and two millimeter ridges at the end. And in between every ridge, there is a valley. And that's where the string kind of catches in there. But when I think catch, I would think that I would slow down and my alternate picking wouldn't be as good and my tremolo picking wouldn't be as good and my sweep picking wouldn't be as good. But because the first ridge and valley is a few millimeters after the tip of the pick, I can still use the tip for whatever I want, whether that be sweeping, tremolo, or alternate. It sounds really good uh, distorted. I'm gonna give that a go. First with the flat tip. And now with blade. It cuts through with a pinpoint that just goes right through that wall of distortion. Moving on. All right, I've got a tack here, and if you remember from earlier, this is the one that has the nine raised formations in the shape of pyramids. And this is the one that I said I love using to spit out long open chords that encompass all six strings. And this is perfect on electric for wall of sound type stuff to cut through reverb. First, the flat tip. attack. It just fills up the room with sound and it evens out the chord extensions with it. It's beautiful. Anytime I'm playing bluesy minor pentatonic type stuff I opt for ambush. This is the one that has the five raised formations on it in square shapes. First, the reference pick. And now, ambush. It gives each note purpose. It, it sounds super compressed, and um, it's more difficult to tell that you're switching strings. For example, reference pick. Ambush. I'm applying the same amount of pressure on the strings, but it sounds more similar when I'm switching strings with ambush than it does the reference pick. All right, on to bass. So where ambush really shines is on bass, and it's definitely something to behold. I'm gonna go ahead and do the comparison with the flat tip. It is just so bright and metallic without string buzz. It has it has a sound similar to a slap and pop technique. It's everything I've wanted in a bass pick. Okay, now I'm gonna put blade up against attack. Blade first. That's interesting to get the, the sound that you want out of it, that really bright sound that's similar to ambush. You need to dig down a little more, not necessarily dig, but 
use the ridges that are closer to your fingers to get that brightening effect. Um, it, it does sound somewhat brighter than Ambush when, when you use that technique, but I'm going to see what Attack sounds like. Okay, that, that sounds like it's got more low end in it, but it also has the brightening effect on top of it. It just, it just keeps a little more of the low end, so it's kind of like a Goldilocks situation here. We got the darkness of attack, the brightness of blade, and the perfect medium, which is ambush. Well, there you have it. Uh, I think it's important to mention that in these demos I used no compression, no EQ, just a bit of reverb. Uh, with these picks, you're not going to get it right at once. There is a learning curve, but the more time you spend with it, the more you're going to see their value. Thank you for watching, and have a good one. Yeah.